mid-June, I began a personal sage route study to determine brood success in 2025 for Sweetwater and Sublet counties. I set up trail cams on six water holes in both counties. In this video, I will share with you my findings. I have been observing and hunting sage grouse in Wyoming for 36 years. This summer, the summer of 2025, was the driest summer I've ever experienced. In late June, the number of young birds seemed promising, but as the hot summer wore on, I saw fewer and fewer hens with chicks. The motion-activated trail cams would record day and night. It's easy to tell a hen that has a brood from one who has lost her brood. The hen with chicks will stand tall, keeping an eye out for any danger. She will have a nervous demeanor. Sandhill Cranes and a buck pronghorn antelope. Hens who have lost their broods group up and they arrive at the water holes early before sunup. Hens with chicks usually don't appear at the water holes till after sunup. Here you can see by the posture of this grouse that it is a hen with a brood. but only one chick. motion cameras were recording large groups of hens without broods.
a ferruginous hawk flies in to get a drink of water. Ferruginous hawks feed primarily on Wyoming ground squirrels. In all the years of observing and photographing them at their nests, I've never seen them bring anything to the nest other than rodents. Here we see a hen with two cockbirds. It's interesting that deer mice are almost non-existent. I've never seen so few mice, and I've been observing them for 25 years. young grouse walks by the camera. Hungry ravens are always a threat to young grouse. Here a mother grouse aggressively chases the raven away. Again, large groups of adult hens with no broods. Another hen arrives with a single chick shortly after sunrise. lark comes in for an early morning drink. A prairie falcon makes an appearance at the water hole. American Badger arrives to cool off. An immature red-tailed hawk.
When sage grouse have good brood success, often young grouse are hit on highways. This year, I surveyed Highway 28 from the Green River to Farson. I did this each week from June 1st to August 23rd. Not one highway mortality was observed. This year's sage grouse season could be a challenging one for hunters. I fear the 0.8 chicks per hen from last year will be even lower this year. I hope the fall wing barrel counts prove me wrong. Hunters will have their best luck around ag fields or in higher elevations where there is adequate moisture. Thank you.